hi everyone I hope you're all well so I don't think I've ever done anything like this before I'm bringing you a nail polish haul today and if you thought it couldn't get any more boring than that I mean I don't think any of these really class as actual colours I don't know what has happened over the last year 18 months but I've completely gone off wearing colour on my nails I just don't think it suits me and all I've been wearing is nude shades and I usually only pick up maybe one or two nail polishes a year. I really don't buy them all that often. But I'm having to start my nail polish collection from scratch again. And I went a little bit wild in the online nail polish department. And everything here is either Butter London, Ciate or Deborah Lippmann. All of which are amazing cruelty free nail polish brands. And they have some really great vegan options as well. So what I'll do is I'll link to their vegan uh, lists in the description box below. I'm going to start with a few treatments that I picked up because I, I do my own nails, I keep them very very natural. I trained in every method of artificial nails and it completely put me off them if I'm honest. They totally wreck your nails so now I just keep them very short and very natural looking but I do wear a lot of polish and I don't give them much of a break in between so I, I do need to give them a bit more TLC. One of the things that I picked up um, is by Butter London and this is the Melt Away Cuticle Exfoliator. I've used a lot of things that are very similar to this before but nothing has worked as well as this has and what I usually do when it comes to doing my cuticles is I push them back using a cuticle stick and then I just trim them with some cuticle nippers. It's a little bit of a faff and if you accidentally nip yourself it's the worst pain ever and it doesn't stop bleeding for days. So this is great because you don't need any tools, you don't need any cuticle nippers. I say you don't need any tools, you do still need a cuticle stick but what you do is you paint it on your cuticles, leave it on for two minutes and then you use your cuticle stick to push your cuticles back and at the same time it exfoliates away any dead skin, any dead cuticle and it just comes right off. I think this is one of the best things I've ever bought and it's going to play a huge part in my manicure routine from now on. I picked up two nail treatments from Ciate. I don't think I've ever tried anything else from them before apart from nail colours. So this is their nail gym nail strengthener for weak nails. I didn't really know where to go for a nail strengthener but this one had some good reviews and what I would do with this because I don't really give my nails as much of a break as I should do between colours I would use this as a base coat so it's strengthening my nails underneath the colour but what I would do when I am giving them a break for more of an intense treatment is I would layer this up in maybe three coats. It's the same size as a regular Ciate polish and it's kind of like a milky cream sort of shade so it wouldn't interfere with any colours, it wouldn't change any colours if you did use this underneath as a, uh, a base coat so I uh, am hoping it's going to be as good as the reviews say it is. And then I also picked up this, this is their Night in Shining Armour Overnight Nail Mask to brighten and revitalise dehydrated nails and my nails do get very dehydrated they go a little bit flaky and that's when I know that they need a good break and I've never heard of anything like this before I've never tried anything like this so basically what you do with this again it's the same full size as a regular polish and it's like a bright pink but I think it kind of goes on quite sheer or even clear what you do with it is you paint it on um, bare nails before you go to bed sleep in it overnight so it works overnight and then you just wash it off in the morning you don't need any nail polish remover or anything like that it's almost like a bit of a quick fix I guess but I think it's such a great idea and it also contains marula oil which is such a great ingredient for the nails but also for the cuticles as well so I think my nails are going to definitely get a lot of TLC with all of these. I picked up a couple of base coats and a top coat. This one is actually a base coat and top coat kind of set. This is by Deborah Lippmann and it's their Gel Lab Pro and it says the new healthy alternative to gel manicures, no lamps, no tools, no damage to nails. So basically this gives you the same kind of finish and effect as a gel nail polish would but without the need for curing them underneath a lamp. I haven't tried the base coat yet but I have tried the top coat and I have to say it's really really good. It's so glossy, it's very quick drying and yeah it just gives your nails the most incredible shine. I think these are slightly bigger in size um, as well compared to regular 
Deborah Lipman nail polishes. The bottles seem a lot, a lot chunkier and a lot bigger um, in size. And I also love the fact that they're black as well. I guess the only downside to that is that you can't see how much product you've got left in the bottle and when it's going to be running out. But I'm excited to to try those together because I've heard really great reviews about those as well. And I did really used to love wearing gel polishes. I think the the effect and the finish that it gives is absolutely beautiful on the nails. But it's just a faff to soak them off each time. So this gives the effect of the gel polish but you can literally just wipe it off with nail polish remover. Okay, I don't think I realised how many base coats I actually picked up. I don't think any girl needs this many base coats, one at a time. But uh, these are both by Deborah Lippmann and this is the Genie in a Bottle Illuminating Nail Tone Perfector. So this is like a purpley, shimmery base coat, they describe it as an ultra sheer violet or ultra sheer violet pigments which help to neutralise the natural nails. So if your nails are slightly discoloured, slightly stained from other nail polishes, this helps to neutralise them, bring them back to their kind of natural colour and it also helps to whiten the tips of your nails as well. I don't tend to have any issues with any discoloration on my nails from other nail polish colours but this also helps to make your nails appear healthier and brighter and as well as using it as a base coat underneath colours you can also just wear it on its own for more of a natural kind of sheeny look. Again I don't think I've heard of anything like that before and uh, it seems quite interesting I'm looking forward to giving it a try. And what I love about Deborah Lippmann nail polishes is the fact that they are either 5 free from or 7 free from, which means that they're free from some of the most toxic and harmful ingredients that are usually used in, uh, in nail polishes, so that's good. And then I also picked up the All About That Base base coat. So this is actually a nude toned base coat, and again, as well as using this as a base underneath your coloured nail polishes, you can use it as a nail polish on its own as well. It is quite transparent though, so I'd say you'd need maybe three three coats of this to make it opaque. It also says on the box that it corrects and conceals, so I think it's quite similar to Genie in a Bottle in the way that it neutralises your natural nail. But it also says it's a 10 in 1 treatment with benefits and immediate nail perfecting coverage in one, a special hydrating complex, and it conceals, brightens, improves wear, moisturises, protects, strengthens, primes, smooths, fills, ridges, and perfects. And it also has eight botanicals and vitamins A, B, C, and E in it too. It just sounds like a really good treatment slash base coat, and I love the fact as well with this that it dries to a matte finish, and I always find with matte base coats that my nail polish or my nail colour lasts so much longer and probably adheres a lot better too. On to some of the colours, I'm going to start with this one, this is also by Deborah Lippmann, this is Sarah Smile which is created with Sarah Jessica Parker and this is the, the colour that I've got on my nails at the moment. It's a very very milky pale pink and again I needed three three coats with this, it could probably even do with four because it's still a tiny bit streaky but I'm a proper perfectionist when it comes to doing my nails. It's just me and a nail polish basically, I think it just looks very clean and very pretty on the nails and whilst I'm going through my little no colours just nudes nail polish phase I think this is this is the, the sort of colour that I'm just all over at the moment. Also picked up Naked, which says that it's a sheer polish. I didn't realise that when I bought it. And I think it's probably for the best because this actually doesn't look anything like it looked on the online swatch. It actually looks a lot more brown. But I'm thinking if it's quite a, a transparent sheer formula, I might be able to pull this off. I think that's the only thing with Deborah Lippmann nail polishes is that I don't know anywhere near me that has a Deborah Lippmann nail stand where I can go and swatch some of the colours and just look at the bottles in person because a lot of the time they do look very very different to uh, to the swatches online but I think I can make this work. And the last polish I picked up from Deborah Lippmann is again from the Gel Lab Pro range and this is in the shade I'm Too Sexy and it's actually a cream 
uh, formula or finish, which I think is actually one of my favourites. I really just love the look of milky creamy polishes on the nails. But this is like a creamy lilac grey toned pink. It looks very pretty in the bottle. I think it will look absolutely beautiful on the nails. I'm in the very, very early stages of planning my wedding at the moment and I think one of these polishes here could be um, the colour that I wear on my nails on my wedding day and I think this this could be a good contender but you'll definitely notice a running theme with the rest of the polishes that I have. And this is also one of the seven free from formulas as well. It says for health it contains biotin, keratin, rice protein, evening primrose and green tea extract. For wear it contains bamboo and for shine it contains nylon and carnauba, carnauba wax. I mean there's some other ingredients in there as well that I'm not I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, but basically it contains some, some good things. And then the last four polishes I have are all by Ciate, and if you've seen the last couple of my videos, I think this is all I've had on my nails. This is the only one I've cracked open out of all of these, as well as this Sarah Smile one that I have on my nails today. This one's called Couture, and again it's a very milky pinky nude it just looks so so pretty on the nails and in terms of like a pink polish this is probably at the moment as far as I'd go yeah I'm definitely not a, a pinky nail polish kind of girl but I do love myself a good pinky nude speaking of kind of pinky polishes this is another one this is probably a little bit more milky and again it's got that kind of lilac-y grey tone to it and this is actually one of the gelology paint pots from Ciate in the shade the naked tree so again it gives you that gel polish effect. I think with a tan this could look so pretty on the nails and I haven't tried any of their gelology pots. I've only tried just the regular paint pots from Ciate but I've heard some really good reviews. I also picked up a standard white. This is in the shade Snow Virgin and I, I actually love wearing white on its own on my fingers and my toes. Again, with a tan, I think it looks really, really pretty during the summer months. But it's also really great if you want to do a French manicure to just paint this over the tips of your nails. Again, I just find that Ciate uh, a really great quality nail polish. They're long wearing, they're easy to apply especially because they have a wide kind of fan shaped brush which makes it so easy to get close to the cuticles but also spreads over the whole nail. And the last one is probably one of my all time favourite nail polishes and this is just the regular paint pot again and this is in the shade Beach Melba. I picked up this shade about a year, maybe 18 months ago and it is honestly the one shade that I wore for the most or the end part of last year and the kind of start of this year is the only shade I wore on my nails. This is like a milky peachy pink and you need a good three coats of this to get an opaque finish but actually two coats looks really really nice. It's still quite transparent but if your nails are all nice and neat and even and you've got a little bit of a tip to them that just shows through and I think it does look really really pretty but I tend to go in with three coats of this to, to get a uh, fuller coverage. I think that concludes my nail polish haul. I will link and list to everything in the description box below, but I think I pretty much picked everything up from either look fantastic or feel unique. I really hope you enjoyed this video as something a little bit different. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.